How to install the Oxygen OS port from OnePlus 6 by Adil on your Xiaomi Poco F1. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Oxygen OS from the OnePlus 6 on your Xiaomi Poco F1. As you can see right now, I'm running MIUI 10 Global Stable 10.3.5.0 based on Android 9.0 Pi. Now there have been a lot of Oxygen OS ports for the Xiaomi Poco F1. We had one from Code Elixir before he quit. Then we have another one from the OnePlus 7 Pro and this latest one is from someone called Adil Amin. So we will call this Adil's Oxygen OS port for the Poco F1. This one is a port from the OnePlus 6 and he has a thread on XDA developers where he mentions the current status. At the time of recording this video there are a few things which need to be fixed and those are mentioned in the thread. For example if you use the OnePlus camera then portrait mode is going to crash. However Gcam port works so I will link the Gcam port which I have been using in the description of this video. Next up ambient display does not work and face unlock does not work. All of these bugs are at the time of recording this video. I will of course leave a link to this thread in the description of this video wherein you can find the latest status and you can also find the latest files to download. Next up we will see what all files we need to install Oxygen OS by Adil on our POCO F1. So we need the Oxygen OS port itself, the zip file, this is around 1.77 GB. Then you need vendor patch and you need disable force encryption. Do note Google apps are included, so you do not need to flash Google apps externally. You also need a few APKs. We need the latest GMS APK, then you need quick tiles APK. This is to add an option to move your phone into vibrator mode using a quick tile because OnePlus uses the alert slider which the POCO F1 does not have so to take your phone into silent mode you'll have to use a third party application and I prefer to use quick tiles. Then you need the Gcam APK again links to all of these will be in the description of this video. Next thing you will need is you will need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have to have recovery installed videos for both of those can be found in the description as well. Also make sure that you have backed up your data because you might need to do a format data from Twerp recovery which will result in a factory reset. So back up your data, your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your phone. I'm not responsible for any break devices or any data you lose. Next we'll go into settings and then you need to go into lock screen and password and remove all your pen, fingerprint, face data. Once that is done, go back, scroll down, go into me account, remove your me account. Once that is done, go back, go into sync and remove your Google account as well. Once you have removed all your pin, password, security measures along with your me account and Google account, reboot your POCO F1 once. We're doing this to ensure that all the security measures and accounts have been removed because we're going from MIUI to Oxygen OS and I don't want you peeps to be locked out of your own device. Once you've done that we need to boot into to our recovery. The first step is to turn off our POCO F1 and once the device has turned off we will press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the to our recovery boot logo. Once we are inside to our recovery we will click on wipe, click on advanced wipe and select Dalvik cache system and data and then swipe to wipe. Once this is done, we will click on the home button, click on wipe one more time and then swipe to factory reset with just being safe and making sure that we do not end up in a boot loop. Next, we will click on install and you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files. If you downloaded them on the phone, it will be in the download folder. I created a new folder called OOS-6 just to signify that all the files are in here. The first file which we need to flash is the Oxygen OS zip file. We will select the file and then swipe to confirm flash. Once the zip file has flashed successfully, click on the home button, click on install. And the next file which we need to flash is the 
vendor patch do note if you ever change the vendor if you're running oxygen os on your poco f1 specifically this port from adil you will have to flash the vendor patch every time you update the vendor so we will swipe and confirm flash once vendor patch has installed successfully click on the home button click on install the next file which we need to flash is disable force encryption and then swipe to confirm flash once that is done click on the home button and we have successfully installed oxygen os port from the one plus six by adil on our poco f1 next step we'll go ahead and reboot our poco f1 however if you end up in a boot loop then you will have to do a format data in which case you'll have to boot back into to up recovery click on wipe click on format data type in yes and then click on the check mark button we're going to skip this step for now because we already flashed disable force encryption so we will click on reboot and then click on system and bam there we have it oxygen os boot animation in the building which means we are booting into the oxygen os port by adil on our poco f1 there it is we have successfully booted into oxygen os on our poco f1 there will be some initial lag because we haven't updated play services yet so you have to be a bit patient with it but once we update our google play services everything is going to be smooth from there so we'll just wait for the ui to come back there it is the ui just came back let's first go into settings first click on this close button irritating it's going to settings about phone here's the build number android version 9 oxygen os from one plus six and we have the security patch as first of may 2019 now the first thing we need to do is install the necessary apks so we will open file manager click on allow wait for file manager to open click on it one more time there it is file manager confirm it and then we will click on this bottom option called storage and we will go into the folder where we have all the files in my case oos 6 the first file which i recommend you install is update your play services or gms click on it and then click on install you get the privacy message click on finish once play services has updated successfully click on done the next app which i recommend you install is this quick tiles apk or ringer mode so we will click on it and then click on install once this is done we will click on the home button and then we will swipe down from the top and then we need to add our silent or vibration mode quick tile over here click on the edit button and we should have ringer modes press and hold and drag this guy up here and bam there it is if you swipe down from the top now here's your ringer mode normal and you can also change it but it will ask you to grant access to do not disturb so we will enable this option click on allow and now ringer modes has do not disturb access click on the home button swipe down one more time and if we click on normal now it changed to vibrate to silent and then back to normal so this is a workaround of the messing alert slider which we have on the poco f1 that will do it for this video peeps we have successfully installed one plus six oxygen os port by adil on our poco f1 i hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you